Hey Smokers, Draga one here. Usually don't do videos in this style, but um, I I felt the inspiration. So what's going on in the microphone? Okay, there we go. So yeah, my my neighbors are being noisy, and I don't really like it when they do that. So I'm just gonna make a video, I guess. Um, basically, uh, it came to my mind about the Windows folder, and um, as a kid, I would look through it, and I'd be like, "What is all this shit?" I mean, look how intimidating this number of files is. I mean, this is what most people's download folders look like. This is what my download folder looks like after a couple of weeks. It's a mess. You never organize it. You download all sorts of random stuff. But no, this is actually the operating system folder of, an, of, of Windows. Think about that for a second. It's a mess. Look at this. You have wallpapers thrown in there. You have screensavers thrown in there. There's your CD player. There's the calculator. There's defrag. This is program manager. Kodak imaging for Windows. Apologies if you can hear my neighbors, by the way. I don't know how loud that is. Um, but uh, notepad. Oh, yeah. It's, I have the upgraded version of Notepad++. Plus Plus. Um, uh, yeah, so there's a bunch of shit just thrown in the root of the folder. Think about that for a second. Let me just add another window capture on top of this, which is kind of funny considering that this operating system in a virtual machine supports this resolution, uh, or aspect ratio, rather. So Mac OS 8.6, released to manufacturing 1997, Windows 98, released about a year later. So they're pretty much the same age in terms of operating system. Um, and again, this isn't, like a, this isn't like a Mac versus PC thing, but just look at the system folder on this. Sure, there are a lot of folders, but everything's in a subfolder. Everything's properly labeled. I mean, extra points for having relevant icons per folder. But the only things that are, are actually in the root are things that are pretty much, I don't know, necessary. You have your finder, which is pretty important. Clipboard is pretty damn important. Um, that has to do with networking. The scrapbook file really doesn't need to be there. But everything else, I mean, look at that. System and system resources. Everything else is in a subfolder. But we go back to this. And it's like it, you're looking at a totally different person's environment here. Again, these operating systems are about the same age, but there's a lot less discipline when it comes to what's in here. Now, of course, anyone who goes into the Windows folder gets greeted with this. Warning, modifying the contents of this folder may cause your program to stop working correctly. Um, so the first thing is, is, ooh, I'm not supposed to be here. There's a veil of um, secrecy behind the gears and all this. And then when you finally see it, it's like, oh, this is why I wasn't supposed to be here. I should probably leave. But I, I think the, the pipeline of development, the, the way this was all directed of how this was supposed to go, um, it, it didn't go in a direction that uh, really gave it much thought. I think... This this is a bad habit that's been evolving for years. If you go back and look at the Windows 3.1 Windows folder, you'll see where this problem started. I don't have a virtual machine of that for whatever reason, but uh, this should serve as a good picture of that. So there's a lot of stuff in here, and most of it, um, at the time, I was like, what is this, what is this, what is this? And everybody and their fucking mother thought that set debug was a virus for some reason. It's just too cute and innocent to have any place in this cold, corporate, um, no-nonsense, business-only environment that only has very unemotional attributes. We have this Telnet icon we have these gears we have a filing cabinet no nonsense of business we have well the 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 minesweeper icon sound yes that is sound yes we're searching the registry ms hearts yes you have to represent the uh the cards symbols uh, ms dos logo um random leg okay that's just because i have lego loco installed 
um, CD player. The icons, I love them, but they are very uh, to the point, very computer, um, blah, 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 blah. And then randomly you have a fucking bear, which actually has to do with uh, Java update or something. Uh, oh, ActiveX debugging for Java. So, um, yeah, sure. ActiveX debugging for Java enabled. Um, I suppose we could disable it. Mm. Okay, that's how you disable it. So, yeah, that's what it does. It's not a virus. Um, that was a hoax back in the day for people to delete this file and fuck up their system. But who the fuck cares? It's something to turn on or off debugging for ActiveX. Something that only developers would probably use, like web developers back in the day. So probably not a bad thing if you got rid of it. So I sort of had the idea of, uh, I, I've always been very intimidated by this folder. And uh, I've always had the idea of one day knowing what each and every file did, at least in the root of the folder. If you just look at this top half, it doesn't look as it looks probably about as intimidating as this does. Um, and to the point, when it comes to icons, I mean, uh, it's Mac always was going for that looking more personable. So they put faces on things. They There's a lot of color, you know, a fruit. You know, the fruit is there, you know. So, I mean, it's still very to the point. Here's a, here's a Macintosh Plus connected to a phone line. Here's Apple System Profiler. Here's the chooser. Um, you know, it's just still to the point. I mean, what do you want it to fucking look like? The new versions of goddamn kid pics? Looks like shit. So the best way we can start understanding just what the hell is in this folder is if we uh, sort it by type. Now, this is where things look a little bit better. Now, if it weren't for all the freaking executables that don't actually have an icon, this might be actually easier to see. Here you can see really easily where your wallpapers are. You can see really easily where your INI files are, and you can also see really easily that I don't have uh, all the proper folder options set up so that I can see all the ex file extensions. Uh, the hell is it? What am I doing? Oh, there it is. Oh yeah, I'm probably gonna find some hidden files as a result of that as well. Allow all uppercase names? Oh, fuck. All right, let's try it again. So now we can see that there's even more folders that were hidden before. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can see really easily. Here are your INI files. Here are your bitmaps. Uh, here are your fucking shortcuts. Oh, PIF files. I guess those are exit to DOS. Yeah, so they're sort of like DOS shortcuts, I guess. And then we have a bunch of text documents that are, you know, FAQ. Holy shit, I've never seen this fucking document in my whole life. This document provides complimentary or late-breaking information to supplement Windows 98 Second Edition. Um, how do I set up Windows 98 with Lantastic? modems okay so it's not as enlightening as i thought it was but you know printers oh look look at all this useful information services look at this it's a readme readmes are supposed to be read but if you're not supposed to go into the windows folder how are you supposed to do that how is anybody supposed to find it? You'd be so intimidated and not wanting to click on anything that you'd never freaking find that there's hardware, there's license, there's mouse. Look at all this stuff you can read. And now that we can see that it's organized, there's actually something we can do here. But you know what would be even better? Is if all the text documents, all the GIFs, all the um, no file type files, all the INI files, all the wallpapers, all the EXEs, were in their own separate subfolders. Now, why, why am I getting all upset about this? Well, it's just frustrating because it could have been done. And I suppose maybe one of the reasons was, I think the only reason is just because they're fucking lazy as shit. But I think the real reason is, is that maybe they wanted it to look intimidating so nobody would want to go digging around in there and know what everything is. But yeah, you can see pretty clearly uh, everything from uh, here 
to here. Oh shit, it doesn't work like something that makes fucking sense. Uh, I'll just... Oh fuck, piss shit. Click, 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 click. So this right here represents all of the uh, executable files in the Windows directory. And most of them are accessories. Um, some of them are just console applications or terminal applications or whatever the fuck you want to call them that are not intended to be run as an executable, but um, being run like netstat, um, stuff like that, uh, net stuff that are really supposed to only be run from the command prompt um, and this is just where they reside uh, of course you need your dynamic link libraries for stuff to work and these are general ones that um, a lot of different things use like your twain right here which is used by like digital cameras and shit and windsock is for networking i'm pretty sure um, there's probably a lot of you out here who probably know the Windows folders backwards and forwards, especially if you ever did any sort of uh, software development on the platform in its heyday. Um, this is stuff specifically for Internet Explorer, probably. Um, but then again, this very well could be the first time setup thing for yeah Windows 98, the thing that keeps popping up every single time you start Windows 98. Um, there's the Lego Loco screensaver, um, which actually works, uh, if I have the right settings and shit on. Now, the funny thing is, is that cursors did get relegated to its own folder. I guess they thought that the Windows folder would look too cluttered if there were cursors in there. But no, but they actually decided to leave all the wallpapers in all the I and I files in. So they sort of started to wake up with cursors. But uh, other than that, I mean, they went crazy. Um, all users, application data. Um, I think those are remnants of apps I tried to install that weren't supposed to install on Windows 98. Uh, start menu, we all know what that is. A lot of the stuff that is now in user folders on newer versions of Windows were actually in the Windows folder before. So the Windows folder, you'd think, would be you know more trimmed down now. You things would look a little bit better. Um, that's just not true at all. Things haven't gotten a lot better in the future. And although Windows XP is probably one of the best operating systems ever made, its Windows folder doesn't reflect that at all. Now, most of this you wouldn't see if you had hidden th files uh, disabled. But, I mean, look at this. I mean, you got a lot of folders, and that's good. Um, but when you come down here, yes, we still have that same stuff going on. You're just leaving your damn wallpapers sitting in here. And although they're the new wallpapers and we don't get the neato old ones... Um, like in uh, here, where's, where's a good one? Uh, Metal Links. This is probably the best wallpaper ever. This is actually one of the wallpapers I have on my phone. Uh, right now I actually have... Uh, where the fuck is it? The fuck is it called? I actually have this as my phone wallpaper. And as you can see, it's actually the proper um, aspect ratio for an iPhone 6. And I don't really know how that is, but... It's amazing. It's like they knew. Um, so, yeah, you don't get those um, on Windows XP. You get uh, you get bullshit on Windows XP except for Bliss, which is the best wallpaper um, on the operating system. Uh, we still have set debug. What happens? It's exactly the fucking same thing. Um, Taskman. Do we have Taskman on Windows 98? Um, let's find out. No. You know why? Because Taskman is Task Manager, and that didn't occur until Windows NT. Hey guys, editing Ian here, and, uh, yeah, I'm being stupid again. Actually, a little bit earlier in the video, I show gigantic on-screen Taskman. 
on Windows 98, but I apparently spaced that. Um, yes, in fact, it does exist on Windows 98, and uh, this is what it looks like. Um, not a whole lot to write home about. Uh, it's uh, it's a thing. I'm losing my mind. So um, now, what's mainly populating everything here is not executable files anymore, but it's more these sort of update logs for Windows because there's so many fucking updates. Back in Windows 98, there was Windows Update, but you're using it with... Well, actually, it was the thing at the fucking top of the start menu. But you were using it on dial-up, so updates you probably didn't download very often. And if you did, like, there's probably not that many. And back then they had the mentality of... There's only one release of the software. You're going to make a good impression, not, oh, let's patch it in later. XP was one of those ones that shipped out of the box okay, um, but, you know, things got worse and worse, you know, with Vista and shit. But then Windows 7 was good. I don't know. Maybe I'm thinking about video games and not operating systems, but that mentality is still there. And sometimes if you start uh, adopting an operating system late, all those day one fuck-ups you don't even see because they've already been patched out. Um... As you can see, Lego Loco is also on here. Um, its screensaver will probably work, though. Um, shit. I moved the mouse. Uh, I can't hear anything, but I'm pretty sure that's deafening. Uh, this also would be a terrible screensaver because nothing's moving except for the train and a couple of pixel people. So, let's arrange icons by type. Folders. There's only... how many executables do we have? How many do we have? Ten executables versus... Jesus, I don't even know. <laughs> Let's find out. Now again, we are comparing apples and oranges here because uh, we're looking at a, a uh, uh, Windows 9X operating system, which is DOS-based, with a N, uh, Windows NT system, which is NT-based. And... Uh, 95 versus 10. Uh, oh, you didn't actually see what I did there. 95 versus 10 executables in the Windows folder. It almost seems like you're getting less for your buck here, because if you go back and look at Windows XP again, like it doesn't have that many extra wallpapers. It doesn't it have has probably about the same amount of INI files. Um, the rest is just a bunch of logs and bullshit. So, uh, okay, so that's Windows XP. So what about, what if we move a little bit further into the future? How far can we go? Uh, well, I apparently do not have Windows 8 here, so let's take a look at Windows 7 instead. Now this copy of Windows 7 is the one I used to edit videos on. I actually did run Windows 7 in a virtual machine until I went total legit with my software. Um, that's all I'm going to say about that. Let's just say that the Adobe products like to phone home and... I didn't feel comfortable doing that. Let's take a look at uh, Windows 7. Holy shit, they actually made some goddamn progress. You can actually see that there's not that much there anymore. I guess people weren't really used to, like, dicking around in there or something. I don't know. Uh, but, uh, yeah, there's not a whole lot here. In fact, you might see legacy applications use this area to dump... Uh, INI files or something like that. So everything is actually in a folder now. They've actually made improvements. Things have gotten better since XP. So that means if we look at Windows 10, it's going to be even fucking better, right? Well, I will say that uh, the Windows folder that you're seeing right now is closer to that of a clean install of Windows. That's the other thing. These are just clean installs of Windows so far. Um, the one I have is doesn't really represent that as much. 
Uh, it has a lot of files in there from different stuff I've installed. I have hundreds of games on Steam installed. They have probably dumped stuff in there. Um, there is a file in there called weed.jpg, um, and it is a screenshot of Multimedia Fusion. And I don't know... Oh, I used the screen capture object in Multimedia Fusion, and, uh, yeah, that's, that's what that looks like. And it just dumped it right in the Windows folder for no reason. i probably trying, trying to look for that. Notepad is pretty much always in the Windows folder. It doesn't matter what operating system it is. It's just in the root of the Windows folder, and it just always will be. Now, the Windows folder is one thing, but what about System32? System32 was looking pretty fucking anemic on Windows 98, but if you jump all the way into the future, which I'm going to do right now because I don't really feel like uh, starting up Windows XP again, um, you have a bunch of shit like fucking nobody's business. This is where they dumped all their shit in a subfolder to make it look like they were actually good at organizing. But the real truth is they're not. And if I go like this, it'll look exactly like the Windows folder from Windows 98 on fucking crack, steroids, uh, amphetamines. I don't even know. It's inflated. It's really goddamn huge. There's the ribbon screensaver. And Jesus, this looks terrible. But yeah, this is where all your special awesome stuff on Windows 7 is. But Windows 98, um, they're like, hmm, let's just put everything in the root folder. That'll be okay. So yeah, they haven't gotten any better at organizing. And yeah, that's a, that's pretty much it. I mean, well, let me, I mean, I could look at the System 32. Hold on, I have to fucking close my window. I can't run Windows 7 and XP at the same time. I really don't want to. I'm afraid everything will just crash and run out of RAM. Also, the Windows XP Windows folder, this is not a clean install of Windows. Uh, there is a bunch of shit, um, and a lot of it is actually from VMware, surprisingly. So, you know, there's that. But what about the System32 folder? Uh, everybody on the internet says delete it, and then it'll fix your problem. Um, maybe on Windows 98, but not on this. Oh, my God. How many files are in here? 2,360 fucking one. How many are in the uh, Windows 98 root Windows folder? 291. What, did you fucking, like, add a digit on there? For what? What? Well, that's a little disturbing. Um, but, okay, so what about the system folder? Which is where all the real bullshit went. Aha, here it is. Here's some more. This is where all the stuff should have gone originally. Um, baseball screensaver? I thought this was from Plus. This is probably the worst screensaver ever. I mean, it's like the guys who made the underwater screensaver were like, hey, let's do this with a baseball. It's like probably the guy, the software developer's boss was like, hey, dude, I know I know you just made this really cool like screensaver. And it's great. Everyone on, around the office loves you. Right. But like you got to we, we got to change it up. We got a lot of people. We got a huge user base. We have to appeal to them. Make a fucking baseball screensaver. Don't you want to see your screensaver? We want to be able to see Windows on fucking sportscasters, computers. Uh, and they're going to be like without a doubt. Fucking baseball screensaver. This doesn't even look like a baseball field. Nobody has ever critiqued this screensaver, and I know it. This screensaver is terrible. You can't hear anything because I don't have the audio drivers um, there, but you're going to hear, like, crowds. You're going to hear bat cracking sounds. Um, uh, umpire going, Whoo! or something like that. This is whoever wrote the code for this. Um, you know, he, 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 he. I'm sorry. 3D text. 
showing off that's using OpenGL. See, this is where all the fun shit is. And I guess I, I, it looks like it's just a bad... How many files we got in here? 1,087. Yeah, it just went off the rails. Oh, wait a minute. I don't remember seeing these screensavers in the screensaver thing. Wait a minute, did I just uncover a goddamn conspiracy? Okay, uh... They, okay, no, I didn't. I thought that... That, I thought those only came with, like, the 98-plus pack or something. Um, jungle. Oh, my God. This is seriously what the jungle screensaver is? I mean, this is just, like, your first programming project. It's, like, uh, four next uh, load random image paste it somewhere randomly on the screen and uh and just random timer between every okay and randomly remove things randomly add things randomly remove things very good for an actual screensaver because things are always changing but you know things are very tacked on i don't know but i mean well, what were they dealing with back then right lights.exe that's the other thing that's kind of concerning is when you click on something in here because you're curious like, dude, like, it's not going to do anything. And you're going to be like, did something run in the background? Did I unleash the virus? MS config for Windows 98. Oh, this is useful. Can I get that from run? The fuck? I guess you can. I never even thought to change the startup shit in Windows 98. Okay, well, that's how you do it. Uh, task scheduler. Ooh, the mystery screensaver. Put a little bit more effort in this one, but it looks like you still could have made it with click and play. Uh, the moon does move. If you did a time lapse of this, it would probably run in a straight line across the top. But that's a cute one. That one is, I'll give a pass, even though it doesn't actually save your screen very well. Mystify your mind. This is one of my favorites. Nature. Good on the animated caterpillars. Now it just looks like we're reviewing Windows, and I didn't really want it to be that, but let's instead go here. Arrange icons by type. And then we can see all the screensavers. But here's the fucked up part. Some of the screensavers, I believe, are in here, aren't they? Well, okay, so, no, nope. There's a screensaver there, and there's a screensaver there. This is the channel screensaver, which is supposed to access a website and show it. Or an active channel, whatever the fuck that is. lot of DLL files in here. So now it's starting to feel a little bit like this is easy. Trying to learn what all the files are in here is pretty easy, especially when you break it down like this. It's not that bad. The files that actually seem like they're running the system are these SYS files, sys files, um, unnamed un INI files, DLL files, those look like system, and then, of course, the programs, which, you know, are the, like, kind of the building blocks of shit, software working and shit. So that's, uh, that's good. But in here, you know, you I mean, you could learn, you could learn that. Could you learn all of this? 
No. This is an amalgamation of hundreds of people, hundreds of developers, dumping things in here that the system is going to use. Not one single person did all of this. This is just a multiple bunch of peoples. You know that uh, the people who developed these screensavers were probably like, I don't know. I, I don't know who the people are. Maybe you're a viewer and you worked on some of this stuff, which is, I think that'd be really cool, but it's highly unlikely. Um, uh, we're definitely not the same people who wrote these files. You know, the different people with different talents. And you don't really think about that. You just think the operating system works. Um, but, you know, as stuff gets more and more complicated, the System32 folder keeps growing. And uh, as, as you can see, it gets bigger and bigger with every release of Windows. Sort of like how every uh, release of the latest processor gets their transistors smaller and smaller and smaller. It's pretty crazy. Uh, so... I actually wanted to make a video that would go through every single item in the Windows folder and describe what it did exactly, but uh, that would take a long time. For example, control I on all, control dot I and I, cargo net circles, cobblestones, coliseum, daisies, dizzy, field effect, key, live wire, plaid, rounder, scales, stone, thatches, waffles, revenge. The fuck is this? VMware tools. Okay, so this is VMware? For what? I have no fucking idea. I have no fucking idea what that is. MS Office. Win INI. This is probably one of the more important ones. This is a carryover from 3.1. Um, this is actually what controlled a lot of the very important functions of Windows. The current version of Windows, Windows 10, I, it does actually still have a win INI. Jesus Christ. That INI fucking file has existed for like... Oh my god, there's probably a win INI file on Windows 1, for God's sake. Um, the win INI file here um, actually is like defining some fonts. Is uh, doing some weird compatibility hex code shit here. I don't understand. Um, applications could add stuff in here so that they could kind of use it as their INI file, but as time went on, they used the registry, which was more efficient. Uh, so this is, I guess you could think of it as sort of like a... Uh, sort of a, a, a carryover. From, it's like a slow carryover. There's stuff some vestigial structures that just never got removed for um yeah actually at there's a comment section at the top of the windows the win i and i and it is uh it says for 16-bit app support so this is specifically for 16-bit apps that um, i guess that was before the registry i really don't know there's uh we're learning. We're learning. I'm still learning. This is how you learn. You just click on shit in the Windows folder and you learn about it. As a kid, you know, um, well, at least when I was a kid, nowadays kids have so many fucking games to play on like the App Store and Steam that they might not even really think about going in and digging around and exploring, especially when there's all this stuff to look at. And back then, I didn't really have all that many games. So when I got stuck on a game, you go to another game. You get stuck on that game. You're going to you're gonna figure out something to do. And if you've got a computer, which is like the gateway to a new world, you're going to be messing around with it. You're going to be playing with it. And as for me, uh, I, I did my fair share of exploring around. And uh, I made sure I was very careful playing with the screensavers and all that. Um, we've all done that. Uh, nowadays, it, I don't, the screensavers are no longer the focus anymore. Um, they're not as novel. Um, where the... Fuck is my 3D maze. Didn't LGR just come out with a video with this as his like title image? If I preview this and it says the word start, Google is going to auto detect the word start in this video and make it as a icon. I will not be using that as the thumbnail for this though. So yeah, that was a video. 
it's going to be another long video. I know the last video I said I don't like editing long videos, but this is about 43 minutes of footage, and I'll probably get that down to less than a half an hour. But uh, hey, here's a video where I'm talking about shit, and I'm not really doing anything specifically. Is that okay? I guess we'll find out. It was kind of interesting for me to actually see how the load of shit that Windows developers shifted from the root Windows folder into the System32 folder to make it look clean and no, nothing to see here. A number of folders up here um, ballooned with Windows XP but shrunk back down with Windows 7 and later releases. Um, so uh, I guess that's really all there is to it. Um, there's a lot of very colorful things in here um, uh, that are very memorable, including Program Manager, which is a carryover from Windows uh, 3.1, which probably still exists in Windows 10, does it? <laughs> Leaving that WinINI folder is like keeping compatibility support for fucking this. Like, yeah, it's crazy. As, as if uh, uh, Mac OS, you know, fucking kept i wish they did i wish there was a little emulator app like sheep saver that was just built in to the latest os like it wouldn't even take up that much space um like how big is my sheep saver shaver folder it's like four gigs okay that's kind of a lot but you could trim that down um the actual operating system itself isn't that huge if you look at the system folder here i mean it's like I don't know how big it is, it's like 100 megs. So, I mean, they could make it happen in about 500 megs, no big deal. And then people would have all this support for legacy applications, and it would be fucking fantastic, and it would be perfect. But they won't do that because they're evil, and I don't know. But before we totally wrap this up, we're going to take a look at uh, how the system folder has changed from this to the latest OS. The system folder there. Uh, we're going to look at Sierra. Hi, Sierra is not out yet. Um, it definitely is on my radar for a video, just so you know. Oh, and thanks to everybody who um, told me how to resize the window <laughs> in uh, Mac OS X. There, I'll keep, I'll keep that at the top. For <laughs> so let's take a look at the uh, system folder here, which is still called System. And it just, it's very, it's very, it's minimized substantially from this to this. And uh, now, of course, once you go in there, everything is labeled. Everything looks fine. And it is closer to this. And so then if we were to go like this, it'd be kind of closer, right? Um, to this, sort of, especially if I went... like this and then scrolled like that and so then it's sort of like that so but that's the library folder inside of the system folder that stuff you can't really even touch at all because of uh <laughs> first thing to pop into my mind was grand central dispatch but it was actually rootless mode i think is it is that what it's called fuck i don't know it is it is rootless um um really the the folder that's used more often is the the root library folder and even more often is the user library folder with some funny stuff in there and there's your beautiful desktop pictures in an extremely high fucking resolution like we're talking 8k resolution here um uh is it actually 8k resolution i don't know well tell me how big it is i can't even see what's the what's the dimensions of this It's an image, and you're not going to tell me what the dimensions are? Unless not, I must not be seeing anything. For some... Actual size. Oh, did you see that pop in? Did you see that? It had to, like, load it in. So this is per pixel accuracy. 
this should be like an 8K image because if they have 5K screens, they got to make it go even more than that. Damn, son. Uh, how the fuck do I see the dimensions of this image? Why is this hard? Don't hide the sidebar? Hide this... What the fucking dimensions of this image? How come I can't find this? This is not... Oh, Inspector. Uh... Wow. What, what, what the fuck are the dimensions? I'm gonna have to load this into... I, mean, I literally loaded it into preview and it's not gonna tell me what the dimensions are. I'm, I must be losing my mind. I don't know. Well, here's the good news. I can drag this file into Windows 10. Uh, why don't I do myself a favor and drag this into the Windows folder? <laughs> Where is the fucking Windows folder? Oh my god, did it do it? Did it? it says you'll need to provide authentication. Continue. Ah, I, ca I copied the El Capitan wallpaper into the Windows folder on Windows 10. Uh, this is 5120 by 3200. And it's uh, it's a 5K image. They didn't go any higher than that. So, you know what that means is they're not planning on anything higher, but that is the previous operating system. What is the Sierra one? Should I drag that into the Windows folder too? Okay. Yeah, sometimes you got to give it a little get a little rough with it and it won't it won't leave the screen. Sometimes and you have to really Oh shit. He doesn't want me to take that one. Just don't take the snow. Oh, come on. You can do it. Yep, there it is. Come on. Come on. Okay, it doesn't. It really doesn't want me to take that one. But it's probably a 5K image. I'll, I'll let you know later, maybe. Uh, okay, uh, solid colors. <laughs> it didn't take much. Okay, I'm, I'm really, like, ADD and distracted as shit. So, uh... Last thing, where's our wallpapers? I don't remember where they are. They're somewhere. Alright, everybody. Thanks for watching this stupid-ass video. Um, I'll see you guys next time, and uh, peace.